Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Uh, a bit rusty because I had a bit of time off over Christmas. I just filmed a like luxury kind of haul in a haul if you want to see some fashion bits. That's in the video before. And today I'm just going to film what I've been doing at home, some things like just bits and bobs. And I thought I'd start off by showing you how I do my hair. So I've washed it and I'm going to talk you through everything, answer all the questions that I get. Um... I kind of leave it half dry like this. If I leave it like this completely, it just goes so frizzy and it just looks terrible and I end up washing it or like going over with a heat tool. So the things that I've tried to avoid, and it, my hair's drastically changed, and I know for, for a lot of you that have been following me for a while, you've seen the transition. So the first step was I got a completely new hairdresser and I've had this hairdresser for well over three years and that took about... A year I go to Kennedy's I'll leave their uh, details below that took about a year then um, I changed my hair dryer because the tools that you use on, on your hair are key try not to put too much heat on it and I find that if I do a really good blow dryer so you'll see that I'm gonna get a really smooth blow dryer bl blow dryer without spending too much time on it so you need a hair dryer that's really quick and you need a hair dryer that's just going to perform the best so that you don't have to go over it and smooth it with a straightener so this was life changing I use the Panasonic hair dryer I'll leave a link to shop it in the description box below I've been using it for probably over two years now I'm actually on my second one the first one still works I have it at, in London um, but the newer one, you can fold up. It's great for travel. I've, I've taken it on loads of trips because you don't want to achieve all of this and then ruin it with a, a hotel hairdryer. My arm's aching. Um, but the reason why the Panasonic is so good, um, apart from the fact that it folds up, it's the quickest blow dryer that I get. So that reduces how much heat you're putting on your hair. It gives me the smoothest blow dryer because it has nano technology. And when I read this, I was like, nano technology, what is this? It's probably something that is like stuff that I'm not gonna understand and it works the same as an, another hair dryer, but it generally works. And I've recommended this hair dryer so much. And every one of you have told me, wow, it's amazing. The reason why it actually does work is the nano technology, um, it holds in the moisture so that creates a really smooth blow dry and it has this the technology where it blows hot and cold so this makes your like curls or however you're doing your hair it makes it hold and it makes it set and it also makes it really smooth so it generally works and now i get to do a quick blow dry like i have so many people like mum people rushing to do their hair for work and they say i need i need a quick way to do my hair and the panasonic hair dryer is the best for that because it creates such a smooth quick blow dryer and i swear by this hair dryer so i'm going to show you how i dry my hair a few of the bits that i do i need to hurry up actually because it's drying um what else am i going to show you and i, I just create the curls with the hair dryer I'm going to show you how I create a bit of volume and then I do this like twice a week and it's been so amazing for my hair I reduced the heat and as you know, I've changed my hair colour. Well, no, it's the same really, but I don't, I haven't gone as light. So that, they're all the things I'm doing. I don't take any vitamins or anything like that. I really should. Um, what else did I need to tell you about that? I'm just going to have gotten with it. So let, let's dry my hair. If you ever feel alone Cause yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone in a second, I'll be right there. Turn around, let it rain. Turn around and let it rain on me. Don't you be afraid. Just roll on me. So that's how I dry my hair. I don't use any mousse, any dry shampoo, nothing texture or volume. I literally leave it all up to um, the brush and how I put the heat underneath the brush. I hold the brush. I use the cooling setting. So you can see it here. So I can actually press that whilst I'm still doing it. Um, and it also knows when to do it itself, so you don't have to keep on doing it. And I just like to keep it straight. I have a lot of body and volume, and I use a bit of a flick here and a flick here. And I try not to overdo it. And then I'll leave it like that. Um, and I think today I'll put a little clip inside as well. Just for
Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end Et voila! That is literally with no straighteners, no curls and it feels super soft and smooth so that's how I do my hair. Um, I do that around twice a week. I will leave the description box to the serums that I use, maybe the hairbrush and definitely the hair dryer. That will all be in the description box below. Now I'm gonna do some work, tidy up my room, um, and hopefully I'm waiting for a package to arrive and hopefully I can open that with you and show you that. So let's tidy up my room. So I was just about to show you my hair. Well, I'm gonna show you. Um, and I wanted to show you how it was at the end of the day so I just wanted to make it clear that this isn't like my glam blow dry what I was trying to show you is I used to just rough, rough dry it but this is how I do it where it's basically a rough dry and I still get it to be smooth so I hope that makes sense because it actually gets nicer throughout the day and tomorrow it will be really nice and because of the way that I've dried it and it's so fluffy and bouncy I'll actually probably wear it like this tomorrow, like it's a bit too bouncy and fluffy today. But yeah, I wanted to make it just clear that you knew that it's the, a way for me to get a smooth blow dry, but it's really rough dry, so I'm not damaging it. Um, so yeah, I was going to show you that, and then I got this voice note from my sister. We, obviously, we voice note each other all the time, but I don't know whether it's because, um, obviously you know I get on so well with my sister, but I think because of Covid it's just so intense and everyone misses each other, but I wanted to play it for you, just like half of it. Just a quick voice note, um, I think it's because I'm through my period, I'm getting really it's emotional, cool. if you can hear that, that's Nara tapping away. Um, I just want to let you know how much I love you, I think you're an amazing person Claire and I really love you. Noah, I'm trying to be nice to someone at the moment, can you wait? You can, you can jump, it's fine, but yeah I just thought I'd let you know how much I love you and how much I value you as a sister, I don't say it enough and how cute is that? So I wrote back to her saying, oh, are you okay? <laughs> but how sweet is that? So just a reminder that if you feel like you want to tell someone you love them, you should always, because I'm quite cold like that. Like I, I won't, I'm not like huggy and kissy. But then every now and again, I'll give like my sister or my mum like a really big hug. And it like, it's almost like it means even more. So I hope that's a nice reminder that you should do that for if you're missing someone. So yeah, I really appreciate her as well. Um, but just wanted to show you my hair at the end of the day and, and just to make it clear that this is like a rough dry, but how I get a smooth rough dry. So it's the end of the day and um, we're going to have dinner and then the next time I see you, I'll be unboxing a few little bits to show you. Hi everyone, welcome back to the second half of the video. I actually wanted to film, oh sorry, I actually wanted to film the next day so you could see that my hair looked a lot better. It's actually four days later, or three days, the, oh no, four. And I normally wash my hair before then, but mum life. But you know, I don't mind because this can, this is showing you realistically how my hair does look. Because you know when you go to the salon, your blow dry really does last. As long as you do the two shampoos, um, and you do the blow dry, like I guess a good blow dry at home like I did, it does still last. And this is with no serum, my new serum actually arrived today. Um, so yeah, at least you can see exactly how it looks. But definitely do click the link below to see the Panasonic hair dryer because the Nanui technology, it really does work. And if you read it, it might put everything into perspective and make, make more sense for you to realise that it does actually work instead of me just saying go buy it there is actually the technology there to show you so i want to show you a couple of things that have been delivered but they're all super amazing pieces um a bit of everything really i've got some a gift for my friend but i'll just get straight into it so this is um a new lounge set that i got i pre-ordered it at the end of the summer last year and I don't mind buying pre-orders and ordering pre-orders i do it all the time i know not everyone likes doing it but I normally forget about it when it comes to the nearer the time, at least with this I know it's definitely coming and then you'll get the first batch out. So I'm actually really happy that I did it. 
because I know I would have forgot all about it. So um, this is the first jumper. It's a cropped, um, slightly cropped sleeve, which isn't clear on any of the websites that I saw it on because it's always photographed like that. And I went up a size and I'm so glad I did because now the sleeves are like super perfect for me. Um, this a little bit cropped. Um, it's just perfect. Everything about it is perfect, but it's making me like get in the mood for spring. And it comes with these joggers. And they're just the perfect at home outfit. And I'd wear this with a leather jacket, with my new long black coat. I wasn't gonna show you this, but it's here. So to make it more wintry, I would style this with a, a really long black warm coat like this, gray or black woolly hat, some trainers, some biker boots. I would totally wear this now in the winter, but seeing as we're not really going anywhere at the moment, it's perfect for at home. This looks so good with stone jeans. I'm not doing a styling video of this, but if you want to see how I style loungewear and wear it out, let me know. I'd be happy to do that. The place where I got these from, it was at Outdazzle, and my 15% off code actually works on this brand, which is super rare to get not only a discount, some websites you could get 10%, but this is actually for 15%, so without a doubt, it's your best getting um, Love Shack Fancy. And to be honest, there's so many amazing brands that don't we do 15%, like Philly Boo. There's so many amazing brands on that website, um, and it works on this, which is really rare. The next jumper I have is this. I haven't worn them all properly because they literally came today. This is an off-the-shoulder top. The print is just on the front. And I know that they're all really similar, but to me it's different. Like This is like a puff shoulder. This is off-the-shoulder. This is slightly longer. This is a size smaller than this, so you can already see that this is a more boxy shape. I went true to size in this. I'll leave all my sizes below for reference, um, and I know that they're all the same colours, but I will just wear them all the time. I buy a Love, Love Shack Fancy jumper every single year, and I still wear them all the time. The last one is this. Now this is too cropped for my liking, but for many of you, it will look amazing, especially with a bit of midriff, midriff showing. I love that with a pair of stonewashed jeans or black jeans. For me, it's a bit too cropped, but because these are high-waisted, the trousers, it actually looks perfectly fine. And then with an oversized denim jacket or leather jacket, I just love it. But I just think it's so sweet. It's got some really nice button details. It is quite pricey, this brand. I went up a size in this as well, which I'm so glad I did because it's cropped. Um, so definitely do make use of the discount. I'll put it in the description box below. It's CC15. Um, but everything about it I just love. I can't wait to just wear it all week. Just cannot wait to wear this in the spring, in the summer, um, and how nice for like a holiday travel set. I just love it, absolutely love it. The next thing that I bought, now these are completely random things I'm sharing with you, are some amazing shoes. They're from the same place, that's why I thought I'd show these next. But, I get so many requests for dupes, um, and I always say that I'm not a dupe kind of channel, I, like there's some really amazing channels, I don't know any personally, but I know that there's loads where, and Instagram accounts where they go out of their way to do like dupe outfits. I don't do that, but what I do say is, is if I come across one, I will always happily share it with you, and this is one. So these are some shoes that I'm sure you all recognise but they look so good and I actually prefer them because they're lower. Um, and these were super expensive, around 800 pounds. These are under 100. And I only ever buy luxury shoes because of the comfort. For me, luxury shoes, the comfort is always there and it's why I spend more money. And I do obviously spend so much money on shoes, but they're not a good investment. Shoes are like a weakness, it's something's really pretty, and I obviously have my couple of go-to pairs. But even plain black biker boots, I normally go with luxury because of the quality and the comfort. Um, so that's the only reason. If I can find amazing shoes, like pretty shoes that are comfortable, not designer, I would always prefer that, always. Even like the Hang Easy, because I mean, you can see that I love that kind of glittery shoe, because it feminines, me makes my masculine looks look more feminine, feminine than I love the, uh, I love the mix. So I obviously like this kind of thing, 
and even if I found dupes of the hangy seat, they're so uncomfortable. I've never come a pair that's like comfortable and as nice, and the quality with Manolo is so so good. Um, but these are actually co more comfortable. They're super comfortable. It's like not a kitten heel, but it's a low heel, which for me is a lot more practical. And I was so impressed. And they're so so comfortable. Imagine with leather trousers, pair of jeans, and I don't need to worry about them getting ruined because. You know, they didn't cost me nearly a thousand pounds. They also come in white, amazing wedding shoes. Um, how amazing. So I'll leave those linked below. One um, advice that you must listen to is that you need to go up a size. These fit like um, a true 39, but I actually went up uh, a whole size. So they are absolutely amazing, amazing find. You need to snap up a pair of those. Next I have, let me show you this. I actually wasn't gonna show you this, but it's here. This is a new, you've already seen this Prada jacket, haven't you, but I'll show you. I think I showed it before and didn't link it, but it's just a really classic, amazing Prada um, blazer, like a thick winter one. Now, you know that I love Blake Headley. For me, it's one of my, if not, I mean, it's definitely my top three brands for men's. It's such an amazing um, leather coat brand for men. They do shirts, leather jackets, suede jackets, and they're really known for the shielding jackets. It's a UK brand, small independent brand. I've been talking about them for absolutely years. Paris has about five or six, and this is his newest one. Um, and I actually got him slightly smaller. Not smaller, but I I kind of went, if I'm choosing between two sizes, I went for the smallest that I could wear it. And I absolutely love how this looks on me, but it is actually a tad too small for him. But I love it. I think I'm gonna keep this and then and then get him one, but it's just like the typical classic aviator, like the proper aviator coat. It's like a bit of a bomber. It just looks so, it looks like it's like 50 years old or something. I absolutely love it. I love this chocolate shielding inside. They're just really well, well made, really warm, really good quality. Obviously it's real leather and I just think with menswear, you can't, you just can't, you can't fake menswear. Like us women can get away with cheaper things and we, it looks nice, but I feel like with men, they can't do that. So for me, buying Paris a high street version of this, there's no comparison. And I've spoken about Blake Headley so many times. Um, it's just an amazing, amazing menswear brand. Check it out for your husband, partner, whoever you think will be interested, but absolutely love their jackets and I've been swearing by them for years. Is there anything else? I'm very conscious that I talk too much, you know. Okay, last thing we're going to talk about. So my friend, she's just had a baby, so I don't think she's got the time to be uh, watching my videos, but I have texted her saying do not watch tonight's video. What's that? Um, do you know what? I've lost my one. Let me show you this one. So my friends... I'm losing my mind. This is not even the right Chloe bag. That's the, the free gift they gave me. I'll be back. Okay, I found them. So my friend has had a baby, and when I had my baby shower, my friend bought me this beautiful um, initial, Honoré's initial, with uh, like diamonds and pearls on it, and it was um, it was a group present with all of my friends. It was so amazing. So this is just a present from me, so it's not as extravagant. But I wanted to get her something similar, and this was just absolutely perfect. So her little girl, her name begins with P, and I got her this, it's like a, a really dainty P bracelet. Oh, um, by Chloe, as you've seen. And I really love the way it's, it's fastens. It's really easy to do it yourself. And, um, it's got like a faint little detail of the Chloe here. Yeah, and it's so easy to put on, let me show you it. So really nice with a watch or on its own. And obviously, I really loved the ring, which I'm going to show you. I really loved that, but rings are a bit risky, aren't they? Because because you don't know what size they're going to be. So nice, isn't it? So I was meant to see her like a, a week or two ago, but obviously with lockdown and everything, I have to wait 
but I can't wait to give her that. So um, I'm not sure if they sell this online anywhere, but I got this direct from the Chloe store on um, on Sloan Street, and I did it all like I didn't go into the store. I got it a while ago as well. And then this is what I bought myself, but I'm so disappointed that it doesn't fit me. And they seem to have done the sizes really, really small, because this was the biggest size. And I thought, oh, I'll just wear it on um, like one of my bigger fingers, and then when my fingers go back down, I'll put it on any other finger. But it doesn't fit anything, and it's such a shame. My fingers are still really big, I still can't get my engagement ring on or anything. But it doesn't even go over my knuckle. So this Cartier ring I used to wear here or here, but it doesn't fit. I really hope it goes down, but it's been six months. So how lovely is this? Excuse me, I haven't done any nails. I've been cleaning and all sorts. But um, it's like on a chain. It's so, so beautiful because I have my Matteo gold initial jewelry and ring and it would have been so beautiful. Um, yeah, it doesn't fit me. So I'm gonna have to send it back, I think. Not really, don't really know anyone else with an H. So yeah, there's all the things that I wanted to show you. Everything will be linked in the description box below. Definitely check out Blake Headley for your husbands and your boyfriends. Definitely check out Out as a whole because they have like their, their famous brands like Philly Boo and Love Shack Clancy. Lack of colour hats. I always get my lack of colour hats from there. They have the best selection always got them in stock. If they're not in stock, they do a pre-order. The only place I know you can get 15% off a lack of colour. And then they do like the really cool things like those shoes that are under £100. So definitely go check them out. Definitely use my discount code. I think these below, there's only two stocks last. They don't have many pieces in. Um, and any more information you want to know about the hairdryer, I'd be happy to answer it. I'd love it if you would subscribe. I'd love it if you follow me on Instagram and I'll see you in my next video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.